In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove background noise in Adobe Audition. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. So here we are in Adobe Audition. Many of the tutorials on my channel cover Adobe Audition. Do subscribe for more of them. Uh, let's have a listen to this sample. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the of the danger and of the risk. Um, and I, especially what we saw in Nice. Uh, okay, so we've got a lot going on there. First of all, we've got continual background noise, street noise, and just kind of general ambience that we want to get rid of. Also, you'll notice here, sure enough, the risk. Uh, there's a slight rumble. Um, obviously, this is recorded outside, likely without a windshield over the microphone, meaning when the wind blows, you get that kind of low end bass. So let's clean up with the latest tools in Adobe Audition CC. And the first thing I'm going to use is in the effects menu. It's under noise reduction and restoration, and it's called Denoise. This is a fantastic effect in Adobe Audition CC uh, for removing noise. Uh, and you'll see exactly what I mean um, because, well, simply you don't really need to set anything up. It just works. Let's listen to it enabled. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the of the danger and of the risk. Um, and I, especially what we now, of course, you can still hear the wind rumble, but much of the background ambience is gone. Let's listen again with it on and off. I'm going to click it on and off. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the of the danger and of the risk. So you can hear a huge dramatic interest uh, or change in the in the interest in the interest in the in the sound. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fade the amount up and down. This is one control you can play with. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the of the danger and of the risk. And you know, at 100%, you can hear no background ambience. The, the idea with this effect really, denoise, is to set this percentage at just enough so it's removing your background ambience without really deteriorating much of the speech too much. So let's have a play with fading this up now. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the, of the danger and of the risk. Um, and I, especially what we saw in Nice, Okay, I think at about 50% now we're getting somewhere really good. I can actually go ahead and apply this to the little short sample I'm working on now. Uh, and there the we go. The attacks, of course, made people aware of... Sounding much better, apart from that low wind humble uh, or rumble, <laughs> humble rumble there, uh, here and here. You can actually see it in the waveform. Easiest way to get rid of this once you've done some denoising is using a parametric equalizer uh, with a high pass filter. Let me show you how to apply it. Effects, and we'll go into filter and EQ, and we'll look for parametric equalizer here. And to set this up really simply, we simply click HP. There we go. And that adds a high pass uh, little uh, fader here that we can move across. And what this is doing is it's rolling off the low end frequencies from your audio. Now, we can be certain that no human voice falls below 100 hertz unless you're robotic human or something like that. Uh, so we can fade it up to at least here, but we can fade it further until we hear the wind rumble disappear. Let's try this. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the of the danger and of the risk. Um, and I, especially what we saw in Nice. And I think at about 172, we could probably even go lower. Uh, that wind rumble has completely gone. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the of the danger and of the risk. Let's go even lower. The attacks, of course, made people aware of the of the danger and of the risk. Uh, yeah, it's just creeping in around 80. So I'm going to stick that at 100. I'm going to apply that parametric equalizer with a high pass filter. You can see here frequency at 101, HP enabled here. Apply, boom, whim, rumble, completely gone. This is amazing. So a combination of denoise, parametric equalizer with a high pass filter can completely clean up your audio. It can turn it into this. The attacks, of course, made people aware when remember we started with this pedestrian areas we need to protect the square and of course rumble uh, lovely rumble and rumble here part of your <laughs> lots of rumble but no rumble danger and of the risk and no background noise there. So it's really easy to remove background noise using some of the advanced tools in Adobe Audition. Let me know how you get on in the comments. If you've got any questions, I will do my best to answer them for you. And do subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this covering audio and Adobe Audition.